Hi guys, welcome to Linux our YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to configure AIDE 8 in RHEL 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before we start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is AID and their use cases. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my AID lab environment. So let's start with intro first. So AID means it stands for Advanced Intrusion Detection Environment. It, this is the one of the most popular tools for monitoring changes for Linux operating system, Linux based operating system. It is used to protect your system against malware, virus and detect unauthorized activities. It helps you to shorten the investigation time uh, during the incident response by focusing in on the files that have been changed. So point is how it works. It creates a database from the regular expansion rules that it finds from the its configuration file. Once the database initialized, it can be used to verify the integrity of the file. It has several message digest algorithm that are used to check the integrity of the file. So uh, it comes with uh, lots of features. Let's, uh, let's uh, discuss with few features. That is, it supports various attributes including file type, inode, UID, GID, permissions, number of links, modification time, change time, access time. It supports ease of compression, AC Linux, X attributes, POSIX, ACL, and extend file system attribute. Capable of creating and comparing various message diagnostic algorithms like MD5 and Shaw, uh, CRC32, RMD160. And a part of that, it has a feature that capable of notifying you via email. So these are the features which have included in aid. So the point is that what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, demonstrate you, I will show you how to install uh, and use aid to detect intrusion on RHEL 8. Okay, so let's begin the lab session. Guys, this is my Linux terminal and currently I'm using RHEL 8.0. So firstly, I will show you. This is my Red Hat release file and currently I am it, I am using RHEL 8.0. So the f we have to follow the few steps to configure the 8. The first step is install 8 utility. So to configure the 8, you need to install 8 package and into your system and install this package. You can install this package using yum utility or rpm command. By default, 8 is available in RHEL 8 default repository. Okay, so I go with yum command. So I say yum install 8 and uh, go with hyphen y. This is a very small package and it's by default available in RHEL 8 repository. Look at that, its size is 374k. It's very fine. Okay, it's completed. Now if you want more information about this particular package, we can go through RPM command. We have the option RPM-QI and the package name that is 8. So we have the lots, uh, we have information regarding this package, the package architecture, the version, the release and the description. Now, once the installation has been completed, you can check the installed version of aid using the following command. So we have the command AIDE, AIDE and uh, hyphen hyphen version. So once I press enter, let's see, it shows me the following option and it's mainly show the its configuration file. So aid configuration file is slash etc 8.conf. Okay, you can also see all the available option with 8 command using the following command. We have a command 8 hyphen help. So we can also take the help. So here we have a different types of option available, available with the 8 command. That, that means we can initialize the database, we can check the database, we can update the database, comparing the database between two 8 utilities. So this is how we can take the help from 8 command. So let's move to the next step which is create and initialize the database. After installing it, first thing you will need to do is to initialize the setup. The initialization will create a database or you can say that it is a kind of snapshot of all the files and directories of your server. Once the software is installed, it needs to be configured. So which is the primary configuration file that have, uh, I have already told you that is etc 8configuration file. This is the config primary configuration file for 8 and it has uh, information about the database, location, report location, default rules, the directories, files to be included in the database. Okay, so if I open this configuration file, look at that. Uh, here we have a database location that is where lib and aid and the log location that is where log and aid. So here we have a multiple uh, multiple rules like uh, uh, let me set the number first. So here we have a different types of rule available. So look at that P is permission, I node, number of links for n, u for user, g for group. Uh, 
and a part of that we have ACL, SLNX file, SLNX file modification time, change time, access time and many more. So if I'm talking about the particular rule, we have a different line section here. So like, uh, like I, I will to explain, suppose if I go to particular line number 76, let's take the example of 76. Here we have a one, uh, one rule that is PERMS kind of permissions. Okay, so uh, this is the configuration line and this rule is used for access control only. It will detect any changes to the file and directory based on the file and directory permission, user, group, access control permission, AC Linux contacts and file attributes. Okay, so this is a configuration, uh, you say uh, this is a configuration lines and um, next one we have uh, section line selection line so selection lines if i go with the line number 90 look at that here it's clearly mentioned next decide what directory of file you want in the database so in this in this section section line defines which checks are pre-performed on match directories okay so here we have uh, like bin root these are the directory and with the uh, with the rules that is normal so if we will check what is the rule is set on the normal so we can go with 70 so look at that this is the normal and normal we have fipsr and sha 152 and what is fpir this is the mention here look at that so this is the kind of combination of all thing that means permission i node number user group so this is how we can apply and set the rules on these things okay and uh, and uh, we have the option we can also set our own rule here okay so for the demonstration purpose what i'm going to do i'll commit out all the files and directories belong to the normal rule or any default rule and then just customize our own rule for particular folder and we'll create and initialize the database so this is the task which i'm going to show you if i didn't do that it will create the database of all file and directories uh, those are pre-mentioned in this configuration file and it will take too much time so as per our need you can modify the setting of the 8.configuration file so i'm going to comment out all the files and directories that is belong to the normal rule or any predefined rule and put up new rule for my particular folder or directory okay so this is only for the demonstration purpose in normal scenario no need to comment out all these lines okay so let's go to and quickly i have to do that so i started with line number 90 so i'll comment out okay uh, no need lib64, no need opt, usr, root, okay, disable the etc, and we, here we have a lots of file belong to etc, so just comment at all, okay, you can also remove this line, but I am going to do that, I will just comment out, and uh, okay, no need of profile file, here we have some profile or bash rc, so I am going to comment out one by one, take some time okay there are some information related package manager so same with package manager no need to log this is for the testing purpose okay etc cron no need for cron hourly monthly daily weekly okay login.def file important file so you can see that all the importance for are mentioned here you can put up your own entry here so okay approx 50% part we have done no need this regard regarding pam security go with configuration file sss configuration file okay issue file cups common unique printing services and finally slash root okay so now uh, I'm going to put up my own entry that is uh, you can put up anywhere so I'm going to the going to the add new line where uh, okay uh, 97 okay now make a new line here and say slash data and go with normal okay and now save okay so here I have a uh, allowed only one rule for slash data directory that is normal now save and quit from here and make a directory with the few files so i save and quit from here make a directory data go to data directory make a file file say one comma two comma three 
okay three files is sufficient for me ls command and good from there now run the following command uh, to initialize the database so which command i'm talking about i said for initializing the database 8 hyphen hyphen i and it so this command will create a database that cons contains all of the file that you selected in your configuration file okay so now when i press enter see what happened i got the message of database that uh, new 8 database will be stored in where that is where lib 8 so let's move there and check it so i go to where lib 8 sorry where lib 8 8 and say if i type ls look at that uh, here we here it is my new 8 database file okay so 8 will not use the new database file until it has renamed so you can rename it with the following command so I can go with mv select the file and uh, just remove this one 8.db.zz look at that so I have just renamed the name it is recommended to move the database uh, into a secure location possibly in a read only media or uh, another machine but ensure that you update the configuration file to read it from there okay so this task we have successfully completed now move to the next task which is check our aid utilities work or not so at this point aid is ready to use to new database now we can run our first aid check without making any changes okay so we can check the integrity of files and directory using hyphen hyphen check flag so let's see how i'm going to do that i say aid aid hyphen hyphen check okay so let's see what happened when i press enter Okay, I got the message. This command will take some time depending on your file system size and amount of RAM in your server. Once the add check has been successfully completed, we got uh, such, such type of output and I have I got the message that it found no difference between the data phase and the file system. Looks okay. Okay, so this is the how you can just check your add configuration or add working or not. Uh, now the point is uh, and our next and the final step is check our uh, and final check our aid utility or you can say we can uh, test your aid so now try to modify some file in slash data or in areas which is defined in the configuration file and recheck definitely we will should uh, we should get some changes okay so what i'm going to do i um, move to the data location here we have some files so i just modify the permission of one file number one and uh, sorry file number one and i change the ownership of uh, file number two also just for the testing purpose okay now see i have what i had did i just uh, give the full permission to the file one that is triple seven and i modify the user ownership permission of file two that is ftp okay uh, now uh, what we have to do we have to uh, run one more time uh, eight hyphen check command and uh, let's see what happened so i run eight hyphen check and uh, go with this time eight hyphen check and go with less option okay so when i press enter look at that uh, you could see that the eight found out a difference between the database and the file system it gave me a message that this time they have found out some difference between the database and the file system and it also tells you uh, what change have been done and what was the original permission so it says change in two entry and the uh, detailed information about the change earlier the file one has the permission 644 now it's 777 and the file file 2 earlier it was user id info uid is 0 now it's 14 so this is how you can find out the difference between new and the original database okay uh, hopefully the picture is clear to you now move to the next point which is uh, uh, how to take the update a database so it is a good idea to update the a database after review the changes detected by a check and you can update the a database using the following command so we have the command aid hyphen hyphen for update update okay so let's see when i press enter once the database updated we have a new database called a dot db dot new dot zz look at that so we have a new database here okay so now rename the new database again so that it you use this new database to keep track of the any new changes and you can rename the database using the mv command so what i'm going to do i go to where lib 8 here and again here we have a file 8 dot db dot new dot zz 
so I'm going to modify it with uh, ZZ say yes okay it's all right now run the 8 check again to check whether 8 used the new database or not so again I run 8 hyphen hyphen check see again I got the message no difference between the database and the file system looks okay it's updated okay so it says uh, we, uh, we, uh, there is uh, no difference between the database and the files so that's great uh, we have the option we can also check the 8 log with the following command so uh, I can go with tail command where log and uh, 8 8 dot log so this is a uh, this is the log file through which we can read the log messages and uh, this is uh, so guys in this demonstration you learned how to use 8 to the understand server changes and identify unauthorized access to your server in RHEL 8 and finally uh, this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things and soon I will come up with new in the another interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment section and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and um, if you if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching guys stay safe and goodbye